What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're discussing the future medical systems in Escape from Tarkov. Since late last year, we've been seeing Nikki leaks of tourniquets, quick clot injectors, regular injectors, new stim injectors, and hemostatic. With those leaks at the times they were posted, I am going to assume that BSG are working on the new med system. There's no official dates for any of these items or systems, so we'll have to just wait and see. Also, there is no public information about how these will be used, so other than the fact that these items are clearly work in progress, we do not have specifics of how they will be used in game all we can speak to is what they're used for in real life and because escape from tarkov is escape from tarkov assume that's what they're going to be used for in game given that they have animation work in progress on tourniquets hemostatic and clotting injectors we can assume that there's going to be a more detailed medical system coming our way before we go any further i would like to point out that i am not an emt a doctor or anything so anything short of using a defibrillator in battlefield i am not an expert now first up we have tourniquets for those of you who don't know tourniquets Tourniquets are used to cinch down a limb and cut off the flow of blood. These are for major arterial bleeds where you will bleed out in minutes if it's not applied. Hemostatic and clotting are used similarly but not for arterial bleeds because they are just not good enough. Using this information we can assume BSG plan to add different kinds of bleeds to the game. Right now all you see is a little blood symbol that tells us to apply a bandage, but right now that's the literal equivalent of putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. What we will very likely see in the future is some kind of symbol dependent on the type of bleed and wound it is. If it is arterial then you will need to apply a tourniquet and if you don't have one you will bleed out soon and die. If it's a large wound you will need to clot it somehow and then bandage it. Hemostatic is a drug that coagulates the blood to make it turn into a more slow moving and gel like substance. This helps stop bleeds and start the healing process for the wound. The new stims and injectors we are getting from the work in progress shots of the new shoreline scab boss hint at other quick solutions to wounds as well but we'll have to wait and see what they do for those who don't know the shoreline scab boss coming with patch 12.7 has his own set of exclusive stims including acid so that's a thing and of all of these work in progress shots between all of the new stims and injectors that we're seeing i'm gonna have to assume that the antidote for the cultists are going to be mixed in here somewhere as well for rumored additions to the medical system we have unconsciousness where players will be knocked out from blood loss this is where others will be able to drink drag or carry them and then use meds to bring them back to their feet. That's going to be very significant as they may need blood transfusions with bags of blood or even include the defibrillators as well as injectors like epinephrine aka adrenaline to bring someone back. Included in all of this you're going to need to have a way to check their pulse in order to tell if they are still alive or you're just going to be wasting meds on their corpse too. For those of you calling BS, the new shoreline scav boss will heal other scavs. I'm confident this is BSG testing the system for the future and to be able to bring it to PMCs. It may just be a test and they may never bring it to PMCs because they found some issue in doing it, but that's why it's just a theory, although I'll admit it is likely what's happening based on the evidence. When put all together, it looks like BSG are looking to make the habit that we've fallen into of just stapling back our lost limbs and intestines much much more difficult. If I had to guess, this will be the newest addition to the list of things that people will read about online, but there is no date yet, so hold it in for now. A reminder guys that we are testing this game and that when BSG make changes, we can actually communicate as human beings and not just scream at them about it as feedback. That's it for today guys. If you want to learn anything about Escape from Tarkov or its development, then you can check out my playlists for it here. If you are looking for people to play with or just a great Discord community, then our link is below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.